Jay Terry made the ultimate rebound at the Tokyo Olympics and won the gold. After tripping during the women's gymnastics vault final and consequently placing last on Sunday night, Jade performed what she described as her best floor exercise routine ever during the final on Monday and scored a whopping 14.366 which put her in first place, a position that held up after the other finalists tried and ultimately failed to top her. Jade's big win marks Team USA's third straight gold in this event, after Allie Raisman won in 2012 and Simone Biles in 2016. And the win also means every female American gymnast will leave this year's Summer Games with at least one Olympic medal. Simone Biles withdrew from the floor, vaulting in uneven bar finals, as well as the team and all-around competition for mental health reasons, which opened the door for Michaela Skinner to compete Sunday in the vault final, winning a silver medal. But Simone will have another chance to medal when she competes in the balance beam on Tuesday. Suni Lee won gold in the all-around, bronze in the uneven bars, and she, Simone, Jordan Childs, and Grace McCallum took home silver in the team final. After the fighting for one silver, Jordan and Grace told Access Hollywood what winning a medal meant to them. Congratulations. Thank you. To the you. fighting four? <laughs> the Come fighting on. four. I, okay, to just to let walk me through the medal experience. You see that you are in second place, which means silver medal. What goes through your head once you know it's you? I mean, we were super excited. I mean, I think we we're just pleased with how we did um, after going through so much throughout the whole competition. It was a roller coaster of emotions. And so, yeah, I'm really, really proud of how we performed under those circumstances. Talk to me about the name Fighting Four. So originally it was the Four Fighters. Oh, OK. Yeah, but then, you know, a little hiccup happened at the beginning of our competition. And you were, we were all came together and we were like, we're going to switch this to the Fighting Four because we're going to fight to the end of this. And we're going to dedicate this to Simone herself because she is with us no matter what. And, you know, we all had that in our mind and we had a mindset that was going on. And so we changed it to the, the Fighting Four. Whose idea? Who, who said? Fighting for is what it sounds like, y'all. I think that's what we go. I think that's what we do. I feel like it was a group decision. Yeah, definitely. We were all thinking of like different names for the past couple days, and then yeah, because we were like that what, one just kind of clicked. What, what are we gonna do? Because you know, there's like so many things. Like, we, like yeah, I uh, yeah, all kinds of stuff. Like, I mean, there was so many things. Like, there was like Tokyo Four. There was mm -hmm. the. The, the quarantine, quarantine quad. quad. Yeah, there were so many things that we had. I'm, I'm, <laughs> honest, I'm glad that y'all did not go to the quarantine quad. I'm glad that was not exactly. the final vote. Yeah, uh, we whoever, decided that wasn't I, the move. <laughs> listen, love to whoever said it, but there I'm was, glad that was not the one. That would make an odd tattoo. Then we had the, oh, yeah. then we had the fortunate four. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a good yeah, one. So yeah. we, we had a lot of them, but then we were just like, you know what? There's going to be so many people who are just going to be like, and then I think it really just it really, fit. We were always just like the fighting four. Mm -hmm. And then we were like, no, the four fighters. And we were like, that's the one. Fighting four.